Let's just go straight into it, basically. Up. Come on. All right, hey ChatGPT, so my viewers have got some questions for you to answer, which is Astronomy Edition, so you ready? Absolutely, Astro. I'm all set for your viewers' astronomy questions. Let's dive right in. All right, so question one. Uh, this comes from Universe Hole, uh, suggesting all space photography is fake, and why? Space photography is not fake. Images of space are captured using telescopes, satellites, and space probes equipped with cameras and other imaging technology. These tools gather data across various wavelengths of light, including visible, infrared, and ultraviolet, to create detailed images of celestial objects. Sometimes colors are added or enhanced to highlight specific features or elements that aren't visible to the naked eye but the images themselves are real representations of space phenomena. So the next question comes from um, Florix. Um, what is the chance that the Big Bang is real? Generally want to know. The Big Bang theory is the most widely accepted explanation for the origin of the universe among scientists. It's supported by a significant amount of evidence, including the cosmic microwave background radiation, which is the afterglow of the Big Bang, and the observed redshift of galaxies, indicating the universe is expanding. While no scientific theory can be proven with absolute certainty, the evidence strongly supports the Big Bang as the best model for the universe's beginnings. Next question, out of Celestia. Why is Amalfia red, so the moon of Jupiter? The redness of Amalthea, one of Jupiter's moons, is primarily due to the presence of sulfur and other materials that have likely been deposited on its surface from Io, another of Jupiter's moons. Io is the most volcanically active body in the solar system, and its eruptions release sulfur and sulfur compounds into space. These materials can then be captured by Amalthea, giving it a reddish hue. Additionally, the surface composition and the effects of radiation from Jupiter's strong magnetic field may also contribute to its coloration. Alright, next question comes from Elia. So his birthday is literally today. His question is, what happens if the sun explodes? Happy birthday to Elia. If the sun were to explode, it would be a catastrophic event for the solar system. However, it's important to note that the Sun is not massive enough to explode as a supernova. Instead, in about 5 billion years, it will enter the red giant phase, expanding and shedding its outer layers. The core will eventually cool and shrink into a white dwarf. If the Sun were to somehow explode, the immediate area around it would be obliterated, and the resulting shock wave would have severe consequences for the entire solar system. Alright, next question comes from Mr. Vibe, so totally up me. What if Jupiter exploded? If Jupiter were to explode, it would be an extraordinary event, given its massive size as the largest planet in our solar system. The explosion could release an immense amount of energy, potentially affecting the orbits of other planets and the dynamics of the entire solar system. Debris from Jupiter could scatter throughout the solar system, posing risks to other celestial bodies. However, it's highly unlikely for Jupiter to explode naturally, as it lacks the conditions required for such an event. Our next question comes from Galaxy Space. What is the meaning of life? I mean, how did the universe came out of nothing? The question of how the universe came from nothing is a profound one. In cosmology, the Big Bang theory suggests that the universe began from an extremely hot, dense state and has been expanding ever since. Some theories propose that quantum fluctuations in a vacuum could have led to the Big Bang, creating something from what we perceive as nothing. However, the true nature of the universe's origin remains one of the greatest mysteries in science and philosophy. Ah, uh, and you missed that one question. What is the meaning of, meaning of life? Ah, my apologies for missing that. The meaning of life is a question that has intrigued humans for centuries, and it doesn't have a definitive answer. 
For some, it's about seeking happiness, fulfillment, and love. For others, it's about contributing to society, pursuing knowledge, or understanding the universe. Philosophers, scientists, and theologians have offered various perspectives, but ultimately, the meaning of life may be a personal journey for each individual to discover. Okay, next question comes from Kitty Cat. What is the most darkest star in the universe? The term darkest star could refer to a few different concepts, but if we're talking about stars that are faint or not very luminous, brown dwarfs might fit the description. Brown dwarfs are often called failed stars because they don't have enough mass to sustain hydrogen fusion in their cores, which is the process that makes stars shine. As a result, brown dwarfs emit very little light, making them some of the darkest star-like objects in the universe. Okay, next question from Saturn Princess. How, how often does star birth take place every year? Star formation is an ongoing process in galaxies, particularly in regions known as molecular clouds or stellar nurseries. In our galaxy, the Milky Way, it's estimated that about one to two new stars are born each year on average. This rate can vary depending on factors like the availability of gas and dust in the galaxy, which serve as the raw materials for star formation. In larger galaxies, or those with more active star forming regions, this rate could be higher. Okay, next question from Xena Guy. How will a supernova at night time on Earth look like? A supernova visible from Earth would be an extraordinary sight. Depending on its distance, a supernova could appear as a very bright point of light, outshining even the brightest stars and planets in the night sky. In some cases, it might even be visible during the day. The light from a supernova can last for weeks or months, gradually fading over time. Historically, supernovae have been observed without telescopes and recorded by various cultures throughout history. In one sentence, can you give an example of a, a case? In 1054 AD, Chinese astronomers observed a supernova in the constellation Taurus, which was so bright it was visible in the daytime for several weeks, and its remnants are now known as the Crab Nebula. There you go. Alright, next question from Sweden Mapping. How will Jupiter move to Saturn? Oh, no, hang on. How did Jupiter move to Saturn? It seems like there might be a mix-up in the question, as Jupiter and Saturn are both massive planets with stable orbits in our solar system, and one doesn't move to the other. However, if you're referring to the movement of these gas giants during the early solar system formation, both Jupiter and Saturn migrated significantly from their original positions. Gravitational interactions between the planets and the surrounding disk of gas and dust cause them to move to their current orbits. Okay, this question comes from Jose the Planet. Do you believe in white holes, exomoons, and wormholes? In the realm of theoretical physics, white holes, exomoons, and wormholes are all intriguing concepts. White holes are theoretical opposites of black holes, expelling matter rather than absorbing it. While they emerge from solutions to the equations of general relativity, there's no empirical evidence for their existence. Exomoons are moons orbiting exoplanets, planets outside our solar system. While we've discovered thousands of exoplanets, conclusive evidence of exomoons is still elusive, although candidates have been identified. Wormholes are hypothetical tunnels in space-time, potentially allowing for shortcuts between distant parts of the universe. While they arise from solutions in general relativity, we haven't observed any, and their existence remains speculative. Okay, but you do, do you believe in them? As an AI, I don't hold personal beliefs. However, I can say that these concepts are fascinating areas you're welcome. If you have what? any more questions or need further assistance, feel free to ask. I'm say... here to help. Okay, whatever. Great. No. All right, next. Okay. One more question. This one comes from Master41. What happens if you fell into a black hole and got inside of it? 
If you fell into a black hole, the experience would be extreme due to the intense gravitational forces. Approaching the event horizon, the point of no return, you'd experience spaghettification, where the gravitational pull on your body varies so greatly between your head and feet that you'd be stretched into a long, thin shape. Once past the event horizon, all known laws of physics break down, and it's unclear what would happen next. Theories range from being crushed at the singularity, the black hole's core, to emerging in another part of the universe through a hypothetical wormhole. All right, there you have it, guys. So, um, ChatGPT, that's all the questions that I have so far. Um, so, yeah, say so thanks to them all, and uh, we'll just um, end our session here. Thanks for all the fantastic questions, everyone. It was a pleasure answering them. Until next time, take care. And there you have it, folks. So that is ChatGPT answering your space questions. So thank you for watching this video um, and uh, look out for more content. All right, peace.